Zach Rex, photo, Stacy Wheeler, here's the first set of rankings for 2019. There are some familiar names, some names you've never heard of and potentially some guys who could move up with strong 2019 performances. There are some guys who are in either make or break seasons or seasons when they just need to play. There are definitely some sleepers in this group, and also some really young players. Odds are, most of these guys won't be heard from much outside of this list. That's the life of a baseball prospect. There could be guys who make noise, and that's what's always most fun about these lists. Previously introduction past underrated prospects, editors note, I am not a scout. I'm an amateur when it comes to evaluating players, I don't claim to be a pro, I just want to pass along the information I observe, obtain to the people. Notes and comments are based on personal observation, talking to sources, reading scouting reports and watching video. For future entries in this series, all ratings in the charts below are on the standard 20 to 80 scouting scale, where 50 is roughly average, 80 is elite and nearly unattainable and 20 is unacceptably poor. Enjoy! Notes Gutierrez was signed in October for $600,000, already up to 93 mph is a 17-year-old Tavares is a large adult who will face a test in Rancho Cucamonga Grand Prix has been limited to just 26 games in two seasons, but his extremely tool C. Yurchik was acquired on November. One for Manny Bonwell as LeBron could move up if he proves he's more than just a complex ball guy Notes Tarion is in the second year of a two-year minor league deal. Signed last winter, coming back from Tommy John's surgery man was the Dodgers' fifth-round pick in 18, scouting reports don't match production Schultz was acquired from Tampa Bay on Jan. 8 for RHP Caleb Sampin Williman is also coming back from TJ, has been up to 99 mph since returning Sierra didn't pitch in 18 because of shoulder issues, halfway through original 6-year, $30 million deal Acosta has a 3-pitch mix, fastball in the low 90s, mid-70s curveball and mid-80s changeup Guadrado showed his 2017 production was due to the Pioneer League after struggling in the Midwest League notes Navarro has a fastball up to 93 mph with good spin, mediocre breaking pitch, non-existent change Egypt Pages hit 10 home runs in the Dominican Summer League, a league notorious for not a lot of home runs. Leonard had a good pro debut and could move up this list if he performs stateside. Valdez has a projectable frame, but needs to show he can handle advanced competition. Betancourt is an interesting utility player with a decent bat and quickness. Witt hasn't pitched much, but if he ever stays healthy, he could move quickly. Notes Garcia is a favorite of mine, had an impressive showing for a 16-year-old in the DSL. Smith was a nice get in the 15th round last year, could skip rookie ball altogether. Together. Big time sleeper with premium stuff Gamo he might be a reliever, and his stuff should play up in that role Salo was acquired from the A's early last season, little old for a ball, but could be more than just a Lugie Upman, 2018 seventh rounder, might stick in center field, should well after in 0 for 23 start to his pro career Warzik 2018 sixth rounder, missed a ton of bats in his pro debut, could move quickly as a lefty specialist notes Cooper has yet to throw a professional pitch since being drafted second round 2018, has battled shoulder issues Ibarra was signed last month and has loud tools Hull Sizer, 2018 18th rounder, has big time power potential, will need to show outside hitter friendly league Finley was acquired in November, son of David, Dodgers VP of international scouting Liput was drafted by LA in 2017, 29th round and 18, 9th round, signed as a senior and had a great pro debut with Great Lake Scrub showed well in Arizona Fall League, has command, control issues, but has swing and miss stuff Lau is still developing, but has a good frame and could stick at third base, next up up prospects 50 to 31.